Hello everyone, John Frausto with Top Spin Tennis. In this video, I'm going to look at the average height and age of the ATP player in the top 100. I really wanted to dive into the numbers and really try to decipher the information and see is the average height of the ATP player increasing. Enjoy the video. I recently did a poll on my YouTube page asking what is the average height to be an elite ATP player on the men's tour. Recently, Hubie Herkes from Poland won the 2021 Miami Open. He's six foot five. Guys like Daniel Medvedev, also very tall. I feel in my mind that the average height is increasing. So what I did is I actually took I looked at all the numbers, the top 100 players, and I took their height and their average and their age, and I averaged them out. The average height of those top 100 players is just over six foot one. The average age is 27 and nine months, so almost 28 years of age. Looking at 25 and under, or these players that are 25 and under, that are these kind, of, these up and coming, these emerging players, their average height. What do you think it was? six foot two just over six foot two so my thoughts were correct the average height of the ATP player top 100 is uh, these next gen these 25 and under it they are getting taller the shortest player on the tour or in that top 100 is Nishioka from Japan he comes in at hundred and seventy centimeters and then Riley Opelka of the U.S., he came in at a whopping 211 centimeters. But here's my thought. I feel 6'2", 6'3". Where do we see, here's a question for you. Where do you see in 5 to 10 years, do you feel that that average height will continue to trend higher? Or is like this optimal height, like this 6'1", 6'2", 6'3". The top four that have just dominated the Grand Slams recently, in, in the last you know 10 to 15 years Murray Nadal Federer and Djokovic they're averaging just over six foot one and Murray comes in the tallest he's at six foot three you know Murray's not even the top 100 right now but those four have dominated the tour in Grand Slams in recent years the only sports I feel like the average height isn't trending and I didn't do analysis on this but Horse jockeys and Formula One racers, I think they're always going to have to be shorter in stature, but I could be wrong. If you're a Formula One fan or a horse racing fan, and I'm incorrect on that, please correct me below in the comments section. So the reason why these taller, taller players are having success in my mind is length equals leverage, which equals more power. Look at guys like Sinner and Medvedev and Herkes. These guys are these 6'2 plus players that are very tall and because of their length they're able to generate more power in my mind just because they've got a longer they got longer levers and with that length they're able to reach and cover more ground now taller players too with training they're able to they're they're still fast right because of the training they're able to cover cover ground that wasn't always the case like you think of guys like Isner and Opelka and Query they've done well but are they the best movers and I think that's where the struggle is when you get to a certain height but this 6263 seems to be like a trending height and those players are going to have success but the but my question here is where do you see the average height being in five to ten years I really appreciate your support. Any comments, please hit that like button if you haven't done so already. But any comments, put it down below because it's amazing. I get a lot of my ideas from you. Uh, there's only so much that I can think of. So I really, really lean on you for your help and support. If you haven't uh, hit that notification bell, do that as well. Thank you so much and have 